<laughs> How's he doing? He's doing fine. I love the costume. Yeah. Yeah. Last time I got up to dance, the twist was brand new. Oh, but I'm just out of the hospital and it's St. Pat's Day and I love you and I want to celebrate. Well, for me, it's a celebration just being here with you. Of course, I wouldn't want to find fault with a man who'd give religious medals away to his girlfriends, you understand. But in Jack Finelli's case, you'll make an exception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll make an exception. Mm. Rhythm. I mean, a religious medal, after all. What is that? What do you call that, anyway? I don't know, Don, but if I were you, I wouldn't ask him. Yeah, well, still and all. Oh, hey. Kathleen sent me the new pictures of her and I and the kids. Oh, great. Oh, great, yeah. great. Here, great. take a look. Say something. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful, look. Yeah. That's the new house. Mm hmm And that's the two-car two garage. Mm -hmm. How's that? Kathleen looks great, and so do the girls. Art must be doing pretty well. Well, uh -huh. you can say that again. Art must be doing oh, you. No, oh, oh, hello, sweetheart. I tell you something. Mm. It's Kathleen, the one who's doing pretty well. Yeah. I mean, married to a guy like that, steady, respectable, a college graduate. And a chemical engineer is every bit as good as an MD. Did I say anything? <laughs> <laughs> I like the guy, you know. Yeah. I mean, he is reliable. He's thinking all the time about their future, for example. God forbid, if anything should happen to Art, he told me Kathleen and the kids are well provided for. He said that. Well, he loves her. <laughs> well, who wouldn't love a girl like your sister? <laughs> no, I can't tell you the satisfaction it gives me to see her married to a man like that. Beautiful guy. But he's, he's reliable and a college graduate, but yeah. still in all, he goes to church regular. He does, he told me that. It's always a pleasure to have him in my house. Um, yeah. See, James? Just married. I do. Then. Brenda! All was lost. Now. Brenda wasn't in the limo. Sam was. You were extracted before it went boom. A dangerous man will do whatever it takes. I'm gonna crush that piece of garbage. To find his worst enemy. There's no reason to keep you alive. It's time. Where's my wife? For. How many more people have to die? Payback. See what happens if you dare come after my family. Is she dead? General Hospital. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I gonna lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great. 
all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiets. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets, eat great food, and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. E-Diets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food, one week of weight loss, one week of success, free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit ediets.com now. I went over to see Faith today, and they wouldn't let me in. And there were all kinds of rumors about something strange. Yeah, we had to close the room off. Faith doesn't want anybody in except her family. What's that all about? The other day when she went down to surgery, Kenneth Castle came in. He had a knife, and he did a number on the sheets and the bedclothes, cut them into ribbons. Did Faith know it? Yeah, she's pretty tore up. That's right. We signed a couple of guys to the case, and uh, we're watching his mother's sanitarium, but... But, uh... Not nah, the guy's too slick, you know, to walk in when we're waiting for him. Really screws it up, you know. Oh, my God. Well, take yeah. it easy. Get yourself a beer, huh? Yeah, all right. Kevin, you got a beer? <laughs> Hello. Come on, Just get some of Mom's fiddles, all right? You know, it kind of bothered me today when I heard that no visitors except family thing. I figured she'd at least see me. <laughs> well, I think she's pretty upset. I don't, don't think she knows what she's doing. Well, you know, we were pretty close. And I did kind of save her life the other day, finding her down in the basement room and all. Maybe that's the trouble. What? Well, you rescued her, and you got help, and now you're ready to start getting involved again. Oh, I don't know about getting involved, but I did want to see if there was anything I could do to help her out. And I don't think it's that simple. Faith remembers that you broke up with her just before she disappeared. So? Has it occurred to you that maybe that breakup was a terrible blow to her? And now she doesn't want to leave herself open to another big disappointment? Well, all I wanted to do, Frank, was to see if there was something I could do to help. Yeah, well, I don't think it's that. Uh, uh, anybody in dance? Okay. Uh, Come on now, John. Anybody want to dance? Come on, John. You're not going no anywhere. One? We have to put a good example. Oh, come on. How can I go anywhere? You're stepping on my foot. Oh, <laughs> come on, everyone. Let's make a change. Ooh-ha. Come on. Come on, away we go. There we are. Oh, my God. We got it. Shaking, so I better not. Well, a little later, maybe. We're kind of in the Are you talking about something important? Uh, well, yeah, just about Faith Coleridge. Well, my God. Uh, maybe we'll skip it for another time. Well, what are you saying that I can't hear? Well, you're not going to go out there again, are you? No. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. It's a mystery. Well, I was just about to tell Pat that it's not a good idea to get involved with a girl. Hope you're going to help her. 
thinking that love and goodwill can change someone and make her grow. It hardly ever works out. It's a little rough, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe it was. I'm not altogether blameless where he's concerned. Hey, look, why don't you go and dance, huh? After all, it's your Saints' Day, huh? Hey. I got him out. I think that'd be great, but are you sure that you can get away, if you know what I mean? No, listen, I could be gone for hours. They'd never miss me. What do you say? How can I say no? Come on ahead. in all Ireland to get me out there. Oh. They've been practicing. Certainly looks like Frank isn't in the swing of things. Come on, maybe he'll do one of the simple dances anyway. Let them look simple to me. Yeah. yeah. Is this Francis Michael Ryan, the famous Gaelic dancer, better known as Twinkle Toe? Yeah, that was about a year ago. Right now, I'm still having a little trouble climbing stairs. <laughs> Hello, Finelli. Mr. Councilman. Oh, you two are Possible. Hey, Frank, this is Jack. Jack, Frank. Oh, really? Shake hands and don't come out fighting. Now, I hear you're making all kinds of waves downtown at City Hall about all the right things. In fact, I'm thinking about doing a column on you. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're on my side for a change. So am I. And baby makes three. You surprised? <laughs> a little. You know, actually, I'm pretty clear what you're against, but uh, I'm not as clear what you're for. Well, I, uh, I think that most newspaper men are reformers deep down inside somewhere. Unless, of course, the system got, uh, got them, too. I, uh, I'd say I'm a reformer, but skeptical. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> what a fellow you've got. That's nice. Very nice. Swing around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only way. <laughs> oh, ha. Uh, there's another one. Uh, oh, 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 dear me. Oh, that's enough for me right this oh, moment. Okay, uh, Kathleen, you must be dying of thirst. I'll get you a nice cold, wet drink from the bar. Come on, everybody. Have a beer. Oh. Well, well, were you watching me? Was that genius or was that genius? Somebody said that, yeah. Who no. said that? Uh, you did. That's right. yeah. <laughs> well, of course, I never lied in my life. No. Oh, that, yeah. And that your mom is, too. Oh, yeah. How the police coming with the Kenneth Castle case, Bob? Uh, we expect to pick him up. Making progress, then. Yeah, we staked out the few places he might turn up. We got a couple of guys working on it full time. He's a pretty clever guy, you know. <clears throat> Hard to figure him out. Second he guessing. doesn't seem to have the same problem, I, I hear. He got into uh, Faith Coleridge Hospital room. Seems to come and go as he pleases. Wait a minute. She wasn't in the room when he was in it. She was downstairs in recovery with her police guard. A castle kid never could have gotten into the room. She was there at the time. Well, you have more confidence in New York's finest than I do, Mr. Ryan. Well, maybe that's because I know him a little better. But after all, my father was a police. And my son was. Oh, Jack, this time you have to dance. Come on, please. Hey. Come on, Mary, with me. Let's go. Oh, Come thanks. On. Come on, Mom. Maybe Come on. good while I'm away, huh? Come on. Come on. Uh, look, uh, Finelli, I'm sorry. I, uh... I blew off all that steam a second ago. Uh, it's, uh, it's possible I, I had it coming. 
Yeah, well, we can always discuss the merits and demerits of the New York City Police Department, can't we? Seems to me we have a few more important things to talk about now, huh? Oh? Who would that be? Well, you and Mary, for instance. I understand the uh, situation is getting serious. Very serious. You don't know anything about me. I had you checked out. So you know how far I will go to protect what's mine. This week. He made it clear that he wanted me out of the way. Innocent people caught in the crossfire. Manny, get down! And nothing will ever be the same again. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Seduction, secret, we faked my death, and scandal. That is the national pastime here in Genoa City. Catch it all on The Young and the Restless tonight at 7 on SoapNet. It's fun to get dirty when it's this easy to get clean. That's because Clorox 2 Stain Fighter and Color Booster works better than detergent alone at removing the toughest stains. Also try new Clorox 2 Foaming Trigger Spray. We're only human, but we try to be perfect. We pretend that high heels are comfortable and that waxing just takes getting used to. We pretend we can manage anything that's thrown at us. And sometimes we can. And other times, we just have to cut ourselves some slack and take a moment. Because although we're only human, that's more than enough. Your moment, your dove. Go to SoapNet.com to sign up for the weekly SoapNet newsletter, the source for all the latest soap news. Enjoy a weekly email with links to photo galleries of your favorite stars, cast comings and goings, storyline sneak peeks, fun quizzes, and the scoop on special events. Sign up now at SoapNet.com. I feel so deliciously wicked. Here, here. <laughs> I like the way you look. Total luxury. I like you, too. <laughs> Are you sure that you're not taking any any chances by coming here? St. Patrick's Day is probably the safest day of the year because everybody is busy having fun and they probably won't miss me for hours. Is that for me? Among other things. Oh, thank you. I bought you a present today. Oh, nice. I haven't had a present since... <laughs> oh, a shower. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Why don't you pin it on me? Right. You know, I really enjoyed buying this. It was, I don't know, being in the shop and, and picking it out, it was strangely exciting. I felt like, I must have felt like a primitive man who had just made a kill and was bringing something Home is an offering. Oh, I like you as a primitive man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Is this real gold? Mm-hmm. Well, I can't tell anyone at home. Think someone might guess? How can I thank you? Oh, well, uh, we'll think, think of something. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I want to make you a little more oh. comfortable. Oh, I wanted to ask you. Are you going to the service for Nell Bolak tomorrow? I thought maybe I'd see you. Oh, I like Nell very much, but I thought I'd spare Seneca my presence. Ooh, anyway, just... we're together just this minute. We don't have to wait until tomorrow. Mm, would, you, would you rub my right foot again? <laughs> oh, it's heaven. <laughs> you know, Delia, we're just getting to know each other, right? I could say that. And you know that I'm the one person in this whole world that Frank would hate the most you're spending time with. And all those other wonderful things. So are you sure that you're not leaving any little clues around that might lead him here? Roger. Frank's got a big family. And they love him. And he's got a seat on the city council. 
and he's going to try to run for Congress. All I have is the baby and my brother when he's not working and you. So I'm not going to leave any clues around the house to lead Frank over here. That would spoil everything. Well, that's good. Because I wouldn't want to have anything ruined. You are so beautiful. I'm wearing something else that's green. But you have to find it. <laughs> the joy of the hunt. <laughs> uh, I suppose you have some food over there in case we get hungry later. Carbohydrates. You mean chocolate? And whipped cream and all those other things. And some coconut, too. Oh, brandy and goodies and a fire. <laughs> I just may faint with ecstasy. Well, I would take that as a great, great personal compliment. You know, I really feel happy. Happy? I mean, right this minute, I feel happy. And that's something that just doesn't happen very often. But right now, I'm happy. Take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless. Only on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Lucky and Siobhan. D. Hunter Roscoe posted on Facebook, Finally a love for Lucky. He and Siobhan are great together. Charlotte May adds, This is great. I hope it works out for these two. Laura Bruno says, Men are always sexier when they're happy and in love. And Lori McPherson Draper sums it all up. They are just the cutest couple. Way to go, GH. I love this storyline. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Your assignment? Capture the boldest, flirtiest lashes. But lose the bulk. New One by One Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline New York. Your weapon? The revolutionary Lash Catcher Brush. Captures, coats, and deep clumps every lash all at once. Make some bolder. One by one. Make some flirtier. One by one. For bold lashes without the bulk. The old one by one trick. One by one. New from Maybelline. If you think heroes are only in movies, consider this. Over 70% of firefighters are local volunteers. These are our neighbors putting their lives on the line. And when they rely on a battery, there are firefighters everywhere who trust Duracell. And now you can join with Duracell to help. Just buy specially marked packs, and Duracell will make a battery donation to local volunteers. These days, don't we all need someone to trust? Duracell, trusted everywhere. She's been a friend, the mother of your children, a soulmate. Isn't it time to let that special someone know exactly how you feel? Give her the gift she always wanted. Give her a polio vaccine. It's perfect. Whatever cause you're passionate about, give it as a gift at changingthepresent.org. Jenny, long time no see. Tonight on an all new Being Erica. Two old friends who have been apart for way too long. Why don't we hire Jenny? She needs a job. Erica's best friend betrays her. Oh my God. Brent? Get out of here. Will she lose everything? Jenny screws up over and over and over again. Jenny didn't just hurt me, all right? She hurt Julianne in our business. Oh, this is such a mess. Being Erica, all new tonight at 11, only on SoapNet. Who's coming and who's going? SoapNet has a status update on your favorite stars. On General Hospital, just before he hosts the Academy Awards, critically acclaimed actor James Franco returns to wreak havoc in Port Charles. I'm a whack job. Ask anyone. Carrie Payton is now on staff at General Hospital as Dr. Terrell Jackson. So it seems. House hunter Suzanne Wang is Carol Chang, wedding planner. It's a pleasure to meet you. And on One Life to Live, General Hospital's Ted King is moving to Landview. You're quick. Keep up with the latest status updates on SoapNet.
you see, I was wondering how serious is serious. Mr. Ryan. I mean, you've thought about it, haven't you? Mr. Ryan, I love Mary. I thought you understood that. Well, the problem is, I do and I don't. Exactly what does your loving Mary mean? I think it's sort of self-explanatory. Yeah, well, I... I understand you gave her a gift. A gift? Well, a token, I suppose you'd call it. Religious medal. Yes, yes, I did. St. John the Baptist may have said it was. I uh, wasn't aware it was a subject of discussion for the whole family. When it comes to Mary, we are concerned and we are very much concerned about her. All of us. I, too, am very much concerned about Mary. Which is why I gave her that medal. It uh, happens to be the uh, one material possession I value most in the world. Ah, I see. Now, look. <clears throat> if you gave Mary something that you value most in the world, exactly what does that signify? That's all I'm asking. Mr. Ryan, you asking me what my intentions are yeah, toward Mary? Sure, I'm asking you. Am I standing here talking to my prospective son-in-law, or am I not? Well, I, uh, I haven't knelt down and proposed. Well, are you saying you intend to? I'm saying that anything is uh, possible. Yeah, well, uh, huh? that calls for a bit of clarification. I mean, would you say that your proposal to my daughter is possible or probable? Either one or neither. Take your choice. Now, look, I understand you feel you've made a commitment. Can you tell me what a commitment is? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell you, but I'm not going to. Oh, you're not? No. No, but I'll tell you something else instead. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you to mind your own business. When it comes to my daughter, I think that is my business. Mary is. I'm not. But when you concern yourself with my daughter, you are. Um, Mary Ryan, give us a kiss. <laughs> Don't forget, Fanelli, I was in the ring once. Oh, that was a long time ago. Don't try it. Jack, you come with me. Come on. <laughs> Mary, I better get out of here. Oh, why, Jack? Why? It was on me. I leave you alone with him for two minutes. It was on me the second you left. Suppose he was. Couldn't you manage to get along with him for one night? Yeah, well, why can't he try to get along with me? Because he is my father. And what sort of excuse is that? Where the hell did he get to be in his bonnet about marriage? From you. From me. You said the word. I mentioned that conversation to Mother, and she told her. Mary, we had a purely theoretical conversation about the possibility of our getting married someplace at some time, and I resent that turning into some kind of heavy-handed, what are your intentions toward my daughter? Oh, for heaven's sake, Jack. It's natural for Dada to worry about me. Nothing. None of this would have happened if you hadn't started your whole family talking. Okay, for now, you know, Listen. I'm not going to play doormat, Mary, just to get along with your family. Nobody asked you yeah? to. Yeah? Really? Well, it seems to me that's exactly what you do want. I get along with him. Only it isn't get along, it's go along. Well, if this is what's going to happen, every time I do something they disapprove of, I certainly got a lot to look forward to, don't I? Jack, my family loves me, they care about me, and I hope they will always take an interest in what I'm doing. And if you're going to lose your temper every time one of them looks cross-eyed... I'm not! Well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm not, because I'm not going to be around. John, you did it this time, now, didn't you? Oh, God. It's all right, Mary. Take it easy. It'll work out okay. <laughs> Thank you.
In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.